Welcome to today's edition of Layoff and Employment News by Employment Boost. Today's date is Thursday, July 6th, 2023. If you are an individual affected by a layoff, or if you are a company facing a reduction in force, click the link above now or in the description box below for more information about our firm's outplacement support services and how we can help you as an individual land on your feet faster and get into a new job as quickly as possible or as an organization, how we can smooth the layoff process and assist with your reduction in force. Now on to today's headlines. The Children's Place, a major children's wear chain, is laying off 181 employees, or 17% of its workforce, per an SEC document filed yesterday. Most of the impacted employees work at the Secaucus, New Jersey headquarters, which the company is ending the lease on in May of 2024, instead of 2029, to further cut costs and reduce footprint. Over the rest of this year, the Children's Place is planning to close up to 100 of its retail stores as it pivots towards a digital-first and then digital-only approach over the near future. While the U.S. Department of Labor and Job Reports for June are not out yet, there is still plenty of early reporting on jobs, and most of it is positive. U.S.-based employers announced around 40,700 job cuts in June, which is down 49% from those announced in May. Now, that number of job cuts is still well above the 32,517 announced in June of 2022, but it's not as sharp a gap as between the earlier months this year and prior years. The tech sector continues to see the most layoffs, but this sector too saw a massive decrease, dropping from 22,887 in May to just under 4,700 in June. Finally, and on a related note, an article by Axios today, with numbers based off layoffs.fyi and other data-driven sites, suggests that a disproportionate percentage of tech workers laid off since last fall are women. Per the figures, women made up 45% of laid-off tech workers between October 22 and June 2023, compared to 55% being men. But most industry statistics put the share of men in the industry as far higher than 55-45%. This probably isn't outright discrimination or bias from a gender perspective as much as from a career one. Almost half of HR personnel and recruiting staff were laid off in tech compared to 10% of engineers and 4% of salespeople. HR and recruiting tend to be more female dominated and engineer and sales tend to be more male dominated. Still, this is all something to keep an eye on, especially with many tech companies also paring down DEI staff as well.